We are here at the OpenStack Summit in Tokyo. It's been a, an awesome week so far. I'm Jonathan Bryce, the Executive Director of the OpenStack Foundation. And I'm Mark Collier, the COO at the Foundation. So, Mark, uh, what's been going on this week? What's some of the news? Well, it's been pretty. It's been a pretty awesome event, I think. You know, we we launched the Project Navigator. That's um, really trying to help people make sense of how many choices there are in OpenStack and give them some data so they can make better decisions. How and, many uh, choices are there in OpenStack? You know, there's the, exactly the right amount of choices. <laughs> you know, it's really. Well, you know, I think this the the uh, Project Navigator is something that uh, that we built uh, with data that is put together by the technical committee, by the user committee. Mm -hmm. um, there's data in there from Stackalytics. It's really about taking all of this data that's out there in the community and figuring out how do we uh, kind of aggregate it together and make it accessible. Yeah, I mean, I think that what we found is that uh, in the past, there's just kind of a small number of people that really kind of had their head into all these details, you know, like the, the experts of the technical committee or user committee. And so they've done some amazing work to, through tags and, and really just creating this metadata database. And what we've done is just tried to come up with a, an easy to use way to, to you know, sift through that data. And I think hopefully it'll make for new, you know, newcomers, newbies coming into the project, um, make it a little bit easier to, to get up to speed and, and then have their, you know, their cloud the way they want it. So I don't think you were in the session yesterday, but there was a uh, product working group session. Mm -hmm. And they were talking about the roadmap work that they've been doing. And so the product working group is a community group that uh, they, they basically are trying to work with the PTLs, work with the technical teams, and determine features like Nova Cells V2, mm -hmm. which is going to take you know, a year to develop from end to, or from start to finish. Um, you know, how do we document that and show that on the schedule? And they, sure. they had an idea that uh, we, should, we should include some of that in the Project Navigator. So it's oh, cool okay. that we're, you know, we just launched it. It's yeah. the first version, but we're getting feedback, and I think that's actually an awesome idea. Yeah, I mean, it, that's the thing about the summit is, you know, you come in with some ideas, but you immediately start iterating and mashing up, you know, efforts between other groups. And I, I mean, that, that's just really awesome. And this product working group has gotten off to such a strong start. I mean, it's, it's just night and day if you think about, you know, where we were two or three years ago. I mean. The summits, you know, still have that same vibe of you running into people in the in the lobbies and, and coming up with new ideas. But we just have so much more rigor around the feedback process, getting back into the developers and making sure what operators want is what's actually being built. And so I, I think that really shows up in you know the kind of adoption we're seeing and things like that. Yeah. So one of the other things that we announced this week was um, the first professional certification, mm -hmm. which is the certified OpenStack administrator that's going to be available in 2016. And uh, I think that's another one that's really important. We were talking about uh, how the Project Navigator is trying to, to solve some of the confusion around all of the pieces of OpenStack, all the capabilities that are out there. Mm -hmm. Another issue that we have is just everybody's trying to hire OpenStack experts. That's true. I mean, probably before we're done here, there'll be some recruiters <laughs> will come by and make you an offer. Somebody so. is being hired behind us right now. <laughs> yeah, we'll be able to analyze the footage later and, and figure out you know, who went to what company. But um, yeah, I mean, I think it's, it's really cool in that both of these efforts are you know, related to education and you know, related to kind of helping address the, the fundamental barriers to, to just you know, everyone having access to cloud. And obviously, you know, with open source and open stack, um, that's always been a, a fundamental part of that kind of philosophy is making it accessible. Anyone can download, anyone can use it, but sometimes you know, not every open source project has always been you know, as easy to get up and running. And so these education efforts along with you know, the documentation team, I think we should give them a shout out as well. I mean, yes. They've made huge strides in install yeah. guides, the API guide that Ann Gentle worked on. I think she talked about it here on Lana Super User new, TV as well. Atlanta, the new PTL, I think she, she did a Super User interview as well. Yeah, yeah, that, that's, uh, I actually watched that the other day. <laughs> they were on together, and it was, uh, it was really cool. It was amazing. I was like, you know, we need to get on this super user TV. This is pretty cool. <laughs> Why are we on there? <laughs> so the user survey, one of my uh, favorite stats uh, in there is that people look at the documentation, the official OpenStack.org documentation. Mm, that's right. On average, 60-plus um, percent of them look at it every week. Know, so like two-thirds of the people are using that documentation. And, and, you know, how many of us are like, building something that gets used that frequently. What they do is, is really important, mm -hmm. valuable, and really widely used. Yeah. Well, hey, I'm, I'm just glad we had a chance to get you know, on this very exclusive channel here. <laughs> um, and uh, so anyway, I hope everybody at the summit and out there who's, who's following along and that couldn't make it uh, is having a good time with OpenStack.
Yeah, thank you. And we are super excited to have the next summit in Austin, Texas in April of 2016. So we'll see you all there.